there were a lot of great plot twists this episode, and Nick Fury also gets fleshed out more as a character. And we now know that his wife is a Skrull, which, looking back to the events of the Captain Marvel movie, is kind of ironic. And I love how little things from past MCU projects are tying in. Black Widow's Mission Impossible mask that she used in the Winter Soldier movie comes back into play. Her friend from the Black Widow movie has a cameo. There was still some action in this episode, but compared to the previous episodes, I felt this one was more character and dialogue driven. We learn more about the villain's plan and what the stakes are, and this episode sets some very exciting things that I hope are worth the payoff. I miss Talos, but I did kind of like the dynamic between Fury and Sonya. This is starting to feel a bit more connected to the MCU, and I like that. And it gives some of the earlier projects new context, now that we know that this person may have been a scroll the whole time, though this means this now in a different context. That's pretty smart writing. I really hope next week's episode, which is the finale, actually gives satisfying payoff. It doesn't go, oh, you want to know what happens after this cliffhanger? Well, go see Captain Marvel 2. Go see Fantastic Four or whatever. I'm really hoping that it does end up being a self-contained project and not just essentially a six-hour trailer for whatever the next movie is. Hopefully, we do get a satisfying payoff. I'm excited to see what it is because the stakes of next week's episode and the show are higher than ever. And I just can't wait.